the art teacher from Stanford, Mr. Darren Tomaszewski. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So what was your first job and how old were you? Well, my first job was actually working with my father. It was on a, a lobster boat. Uh, I was about either 12 or 13, about 12. So you worked with your dad. Was that fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, I got to spend a lot of time on a boat, you know, working with my father. So. And who else did you guys work with? Um, my father had a business partner. Um, and so uh, for many years, it was just basically the three of us on the boat. And then every once in a while, my brother would come along also. Was it what you expected? Pretty much, you know, being basically being on a boat and, uh, you know, hard work, carrying traps around and sticking your head in a bait bucket and taking <laughs> out, you know, dead fish and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was your most memorable experience? Uh, well, there's definitely a lot of memorable experiences, you know, especially working on a, on a, on a boat for eight years um, with my father and stuff. You know, from uh, battling uh, you know, seven-foot waves and um, and running uh, into um, rocks and stuff like that. The most interesting moment was when uh, my brother was on the boat and um, uh, we were running out of buoys. And uh, well, we're supposed to have a buoy on the top of our boat at all times, just in case the Coast Guard is flying over. They can basically make sure that we're pulling our the correct traps. Well, we ran out of buoys, spare buoys, so my father's like, you know, go up, Darren, go up and get the buoy that's on the roof. We need another one. My brother's like, nope, I got it, I got it. So um, my brother gets up on the side of the boat, and at the same time, a wave hits our boat, and he knocks my brother loose, and he goes overboard. And so now this is in the middle of December. Oh, wow. So the air is cold, but a lot of people don't realize that the water is still pretty warm. So anyways, we, we all stop what we're doing. We race over to the side of the boat, and uh, we're looking over to the side of the, over into the water. We can't see my brother. We're looking around, and all of a sudden, my brother comes up out of the water. We grab a hold of him, and we pull him up on board. Now, we've always been told that um, if you go overboard, the first thing you do is kick off your boots because they say if your boots fill up with water, you're going straight to the bottom. Right. My brother still had his boots on, so we're like, you didn't kick off your boots. And he says, well, my boots didn't fill up with water until you guys pulled me on board. So, because, like, you know, we have all the, the, the right. gear on and stuff. But, um, yeah, so he came up on board, and, um, you know, we had to give him some of our clothes and get him down into the engine compartment. And, uh, and of course, you know, the first thing my father says, don't tell your mother. <laughs> so. That's funny. Mm -hmm. So um, you are an art teacher. Yes. Have you always wanted to be an art teacher? Uh, not really. For the longest time, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, so when I entered college, I tried everything from physics to chemistry classes to graphic design. I was doing recreation, um, gym classes. But I think I kind of stayed in the art realm um, partially because a friend's mother kind of threatened to hurt me <laughs> if I didn't do something with my art. What lessons did you learn? From your first job? Definitely, it's probably that it takes a lot of hard work um, in order to kind of succeed. Um, I know working on a lobster boat, you know, we had to be up at three o'clock in the morning oh, to wow. be on the, on the boat, you know, get the boat running, make sure that you're loading the, the boat with the enough um, fuel, with enough um, supplies, with the bait, you know, any extra, um, um, making sure that your gear is ready, and then you're out in the water, and then you're, you know, basically fighting Mother Nature, you yeah. know, uh, and stuff, so. So did your first job kind of influence your future work experience at all? Um, I would say maybe a little bit knowing that I didn't want to be a lobster man. <laughs> so. Describe your first job in one word. What would that word be? Educational. Probably because, you know, being on a boat um, for seven years, um, I got to learn a lot about the ocean life. I learned so much about lobsters and their, their um, how they migrate and also learning about all the different types of fish in the Long Island Sound and, and also all the issues that, you know, at that time they used to allow um, what we would call draggers that would come through with these huge nets and drag across the ground and how it was ruining the, the ocean floor right. and stuff. And so you got to learn a lot about you know, all that different education, you know, um, ocean life and stuff. So if you could do it over again, would you? Yes, definitely. And do you have any success tips for the younger generation getting their first jobs? 
Um, in getting their first jobs, I'm not sure if there's any successful tips, but I would say definitely go out and get you know anything that you um, may be able to get access to because you don't know what you might learn from any of those jobs. You know, I mean, right. just from I mean, helping that my father had the lobster boat, you know, but knowing that I gained so much information and and um, knowledge about the ocean life and you know it's just a, an, an incredible life experience you right. know not many people could say that they've worked on a lobster boat and be able to go out fishing and catch bluefish and you know striper and stuff like that right so once again i'm with our teacher mr darren tomaszewski and thank you so much for coming and sharing your story thank you for having me